Hi, I'm Joe Crabtree, and this is part five in a series on irrational rhythms. Today, we're going to be looking at 10 and 11 notes per beat. Okay, so you basically have the idea, if you've watched the previous lessons, about how to find out what five or seven or nine sounds like. Any of these odd numbers, you can use the not quite doubled system to figure out the rhythm that you're going to hear. So for nine, remember, it was one and two and three and four and five, one and two and three and four and five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So you've got that little jump. For 10, that's basically five doubled. So in the second lesson, we talked about playing quintuplets. So if you want to play decuplets or whatever they call, 10 notes per beat, you just play five notes per beat with your right hand and fill in the gap with your left hand. So we'll start with that. I'm going to go from two to five. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So two to ten is this and filling in the gap with your left hand. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So your right hand's just playing the five. So that's pretty easy, right? And if you want to, if you don't believe me, <laughs> this is what it sounds like. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Remember, you're not going to change lead hands if you're playing this as single strokes. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So that's how you get 10. And you can practice jumping to that rate from all of the other rates. So three to 10, four to 10, five to 10 will be easy. Six to 10, seven to 10, eight to 10, nine to 10. Um, just working through those like we did when we were doing the fives and the sevens and the nines. The numbers all go to 11. So for 11, you just apply the same principles as we did for seven and five. Um, and, and nine, half of nine. 11 again isn't divisible by two or three or four or five or six or seven or eight or nine. It's basically a prime number divisible by one and itself. So it's a rate that you have to just learn what it feels like on its own. So I'll go from two to 11 and I'll put the accent pattern in, accenting every other note. So this emphasizes this not quite doubled thing. So Remember, 11 notes divided by two is five and a half. If you round that up to six, you're gonna hear six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a jump between the six and the one. One and two and three and four and five and six. One and two and three and four and five and six because you're cutting the and off the end. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the trick with these things is you want to play them at an even dynamic level. You don't want to go back, 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 back. You want to go digga, 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 digga. And when you switch to the left hand lead, that's that can be a bit tricky when you don't have the accents in there. So you, your hands are just playing at a rate, and you have to feel one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's trickier than you might think. So again. To practice the 11s, just jump between all these different rates, but get to the stage where when you're playing the 11s, you're not playing those accents that I talked about. You're playing them as evenly as possible. So I'll just do a few for you. Let's go from three to 11. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So 11 is not quite 12, so if you're going from 3 to 12, that's basically playing four notes per triplet. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, digga 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 digga, that would be 12. 
one, two, three, tacky 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 tacky, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So to eleven is not quite that fast, and that's what makes these tricky. Is you're so used to playing these other rates that you're comfortable with that your body wants to play those, and you just have to learn that it's a little bit slower than that. And the degree to which it is slower is something that you only come to nail by practicing it over and over and over, like cutting the cake and just getting a feel for where the first 11th should be and the second 11th, etc. So that's 3 to 11, and you work through all the rates. So let's, for fun, go 7 to 11. This is, this is fun. <laughs> Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the change here going from seven evenly spaced notes to just less than six, right? With the half. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll play that. Okay, so I'll leave that in because I wasn't quite hitting the 11s there. Um, this isn't something I spend an awful lot of time practicing. 11s don't turn up that much in any music I ever have to play. But I think it's a useful exercise because even if you're not going to play it, working on these things tunes your brain hand connection because you're playing this rate. And I don't know if you ever played double kick and tried to play, you know, single stroke rolls on a double kick underneath things. I've certainly been in the situation many times where I'm playing fast things and suddenly I don't know which foot is playing which beat. I can hear it going by, but you kind of lose that connection. So this is a good way to practice that. So anyway, that's 11s. Um, next week, we're going to finish off with the last few and look at the rhythmic pyramid. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you want to find out more about Polynome or Pyramid, which is the same software that runs on Mac or PC, or more about my online drum lessons, then visit joecrabtree.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.